Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'll be reviewing the On Cloud X3. So the On Cloud X3 is the new generation of the On Cloud X training shoes. And so three pros that I have with this model is number one, if you're on the market for a training shoe, that can kind of be that hybrid model for doing a little bit of running and a little bit of strength work and versatile training. This can be a viable option to explore. And so to expand on that, I think if on a weekly basis, you're regularly running bouts of like one to three miles, even four miles at any given time, and then you're also blending in some light to moderate strength work and some versatile training and some hit, this can be a pretty good shoe for those needs. For running, it is pretty responsive with this Cloud Tech midsole, and for versatile training and light strength work, it's typically stable and responsive enough for most folks. The second pro that I have with this shoe is that it does look pretty good and I do like it for daily wear to some degree. So if you're also wanting a training shoe that can also double down as a travel shoe or just a shoe that you can wear out and about to run errands in, that's pretty dang comfortable. I do like this model for that context. When I'm doing longer dog walks, I'll wear the shoe and it's very comfortable. It's lightweight, it breathes pretty well. So I do like this model outside of being a hybrid training shoe as being a decent daily wear shoe. What I would say though is with this exposed foam here on the midfoot, be very conscious of wearing the shoe out and about on days where you might experience some inclement weather because that can break down this foam midsole a little bit faster. So you will have some limitations there, but as a general daily wear shoe, especially for dry climates, this model excels. The third pro that I have with this shoe is that it's pretty lightweight and breathable. So I think if you're somebody who likes lighter weight training shoes, you will resonate with the On Cloud X3's weight. For context, I'm a size 10. This model weighs about nine ounces. So it is on the lighter end of training shoes on the market. Also with this model, you have a reworked upper construction compared to the On Cloud Cloud X. This is a three layer mesh. It's pretty lightweight and it actually feels a tad thicker than the material used in the On Cloud X. However, I don't think that really took away from the breathability of the shoe. If anything, I think it might actually increase the durability of the midfoot and toe box of this model. But now let's talk about a few cons that I have with the On Cloud X3. So three cons that I have with the On Cloud X3 is number one, while the shoe is a decent hybrid training shoe that can do a little bit of everything, it's going to have its limitations in the gym. And so what I mean by this and to expand on that is that if you're investing in a training shoe for strength work, this is probably not gonna be your best bet. Honestly, over 225 pounds in this model, you'll start to have this Cloud Tech midsole compressed. So it is not my favorite model for strength work. And if you're using heavier barbells or using heavy machine work, this is not gonna be the best shoe for giving you a nice stable base to train on. When it comes to hit and athletic style training sessions, I'm not a huge fan of the lateral stability of the shoe either. And this was also a gripe I had with the On Cloud X. Honestly, I don't think this Cloud Tech midsole does the best job at really giving you a nice stable base and allowing you to drive to the ground and get as much force as possible. So this model will have some limitations when it comes to multi-directional exercises, in my opinion. And then also, if you're planning to train outdoors in this shoe, be very conscious of this midfoot construction here. You do have exposed foam. So if you're doing a lot of multi-directional work outside, that could be an issue with this model because you can get breakdown up here at the forefoot where this foam meets the ground, but then also through the midfoot. So now you're breaking down a $150 shoe pretty quick if you're looking for a model to train outdoors on concrete regularly. So this model will definitely have its limitations in regard to more niche training settings. The second con that I have with this shoe is that I'm just not super stoked on some of the changes that On implemented into this model. So they implemented this new X lacing system and they also changed the collar of this shoe. And so why I don't like this X lacing system is because in the On Cloud X, when you would tighten that model, you would get this overlap of material. You still get that in the X3, and I would actually say that it's a little bit worse in this model because these eyelets down here pull this material over on top of each other. So I'm not super stoked on this change, and honestly, I didn't find the On Cloud X's midfoot to lack support or security, so this was kind of a weird change to see used in the shoe. And when it comes to the collar, the collar in this model is pretty rigid and it kind of digs into the foot. And so this model does take longer to break in. Honestly, I'm still breaking this shoe in and I would suggest wearing longer socks when you are breaking this in because this can create some rub and be a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm not super stoked on that change either in this model. The third con that I have with the shoe is that while they have updated the fit a little bit and while I do think you get a little bit more room and upper volume through the midfoot and toe box in the shoe, it still does run pretty narrow. So this is probably not gonna be the best shoe 
for folks with flatter and wider feet. So this model is gonna have some limitations with sizing as well on top of performance. And then as a final con, so technically I guess I have four cons with this shoe, is that the laces run a little bit too long in this model in my opinion. So I didn't think the laces were too long in the OnCloud X. This is double knotted and it's tightened to a point in which I like for training and the laces are running pretty dang long. Plus this model has a price point of 150 USD. So it was increased $10 USD as well from the OnCloud X. So I will rope that into this fourth con because that is also a knock against the shoe is that the price increased while the performance has kind of remained the same. But let's talk about the performance now of the OnCloud X3. To break down the performance of the OnCloud X3, I'm gonna break this section into a few different parts. I'm gonna talk about how this shoe performs for lifting, versatile training, shorter runs, and then daily wear. In the context of lifting, this model is okay, but it's not gonna be the best training shoe for tackling heavier strength sessions. So if you are looking into a training shoe primarily for strength work and lifting, I would say pass on this model. This model will be best served for calisthenics, light, and then maybe moderate strength training, depending on what moderate means to you. I would say if you're lifting consistently over 275 pounds, this model is not gonna be the best bet for you. And if you're planning to do things like heavy leg presses and heavy hack squats, this model will also lack when it comes to its stability. This CloudTech midsole just doesn't have the level of stability needed for heavy strength work in my opinion. So just note that this model will have some lifting limitations. And if you're much more beginner in nature, or if just some light strength work is a very small subcategory of your weekly training, then this model will be fine for that context. When it comes to versatile training, I like this shoe for the most part. This model's lightweight, the speedboard tag gives it a nice athletic fit and feel. You get a nice level of articulation in the forefoot here when you are doing more sagittal work, so going forward and backwards. And I do like how responsive that CloudTech midsole is. My only gripes with this model for versatile training, once again with lateral work, I do think this model can fall short a little bit. Outside of just not giving you a nice stable base to really drive through the floor on, this midsole can break down on certain surfaces because we we do have foam pretty close to that ground. So if you are getting a ton of friction when moving laterally, that could be a concern that I have with the shoe. Another gripe that I have with this model for versatile training is with this reworked collar, I noticed that it was digging in a lot when doing a lot of jumping. So when I was going through like rapid ankle flexion, I was getting this material digging into my foot. Hopefully that subsides as I break this model in more, but that is definitely something that's a turnoff with this shoe when it comes to versatile training. We have a beefier tongue, but it doesn't really help and cover this collar from digging into the foot. So that is a gripe I have with this shoe in the context of versatile training. When it comes to shorter runs, I like the OnCloud X3's performance. It's honestly much more comfortable, I think, to run in than other training shoes, especially training shoes that run more stable. And so that kind of speaks to why this model isn't the best for lifting because it does excel a little bit more for running. So I think if you are running one to three, sometimes four miles at a given time, or if you're doing faster pace runs, this model can work for your context, especially for folks who already like on shoes for running. So I think you will resonate with this model if that does sound like you. When it comes to longer runs, this model could technically work, but I would say probably pass on them just to prolong their overall lifespan because I think you can get more out of running specific shoes versus using these for long distance runs and then also training. And then when it comes to daily wear, I like the OnCloud X3. It's lightweight, it's breathable, and it does have a nice level of comfort to it. Plus it is a pretty good looking shoe. It has a nice subtle appearance. So if you want a shoe that you can wear out and about and then to the gym, this model can work in that context. And then once again, I would say pass on this shoe for inclement weather because with this CloudTech foam midsole, especially with this foam material here through the midfoot that is exposed, you could break the shoe down a little bit faster. So when it comes to the price of the OnCloud X3, you can expect to pay $149.99 USD. That price point is up $10 compared to the OnCloud X. That model came in at $139.99 USD. So I am not super stoked on that change, especially because there aren't that many construction changes in this model that I think warrant another $10 USD. All right, so now let's answer the question, who should invest in the OnCloud X3? So I think if you are somebody who on a weekly basis is regularly doing versatile training, some lighter strength work, and you want a shoe that's comfortable for daily wear that can also be worn for shorter runs, this model can technically work for your needs. Now, that being said, I don't think this model is that different from the OnCloud X regarding its performance to warrant a $10 USD price point increase. Plus, some of the changes in this model, honestly, I don't think are necessarily steps in the right direction when it comes to overall comfort and performance. So if you are on the fence between the Cloud X and Cloud X3, I would say it's a toss up. You might actually wanna pass on the Cloud X3. I just haven't been impressed with the shoe because with its limitations with performance and how it can have some durability issues too long term, to increase the price by $10 USD and not necessarily make it blatantly better, that's kind of an issue that I have with this model. 
So when it comes to the sizing and fit of the On Cloud X3, I think if you have narrow or neutral width feet, you should be safe going true to size in this model. If you have wide or flat feet, I would say pass on this shoe. On shoes do not typically resonate really well with those types of foot anatomies, but for narrow or neutral width feet, true to size should be a safe call. All right, so now let's cover the weight, heel toe drop, and insole in the On Cloud X3. For my size 10 model here, we have a weight of 9.05 ounces. The heel to toe drop of this shoe is eight millimeters. That is up two millimeters from the On Cloud X that had a six millimeter drop. This model also has a thin foam removable insole. All right, so now let's do the construction breakdown of the On Cloud X3. Up here on the toe box, we have an internal toe guard here that wraps around the entirety of the toe box. It goes to about right here at the base of the forefoot through the toe box. We have some on branding here on the lateral toe. And then looking at the upper construction, we have a three layer mesh. And then as you transition back here into the midfoot and heel, this material is a little bit more structured in nature. Whereas up here in the forefoot, it is a little bit more breathable. Looking at the midfoot, we now have this X lacing system down here. And once again, you do get a little material overlap, just like in the on Cloud X. Honestly, I'm not super stoked on this change and I'm curious how others are going to interpret and like this. Looking at the eyelets, we have one, two, three, four, or five eyelets that go up with a six back here for lace lock. The tongue itself has been made a little bit thicker and it has a slightly beefier edge around the top of the tongue. It does not have an external loop, but it is gusseted. And overall, it does an okay job with security, but I do think it could be actually a little bit better. And then once again, the laces in this model do run a little bit long. And then quickly to cover the collar, because I did call this out earlier, it is a little bit more rigid and it does kind of cut in. And so you can see it kind of like bows in at the top of the midfoot here. Honestly, I'm not super stoked on this change and I'm curious if this is gonna bother other folks as well. Looking at the boot, we do have a slightly more low profile boot. It does have a cup in here, so you do get a bit more structure. And then looking at the midsole, we have the CloudTech midsole that runs throughout. This is built with a Helion foam, so it is very lightweight. And it has a fairly responsive feel to it, but it does compress pretty easily under different weights. And looking at the outsole construction, we have rubber back here on the heel and up here in the forefoot, but we do have exposed foam here. And then we have the speedboard sole construction that runs throughout the shoe that gives it a slightly more athletic and like kind of poppy feel to it. Once again, we do have a removal insole in this model and that pretty much wraps up the gist of the shoe's construction. If you have additional questions on this model's construction, drop a comment down below. All right guys, that wraps up my review of the On Cloud X3. Overall, I thought this shoe was just okay. It performs decently well, but for having a $10 price increase, I would hope that it would be a significantly better shoe than its predecessor, which it just doesn't seem to be. If you have additional questions on this model, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, y'all, drop a like on the video, drop share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.